Happy Monday, it's Eric Plattenberg. This post is gonna be short and sweet, and it's gonna dive into a topic that I think is so important, it's foundational to really putting all the pieces together. You know, people have goals, and they have demands on their life, and they have demands on their time, and demands with other people, and there's just a lot of things going on, and in order to get momentum, in all areas of your life, I think there's something that's really totally overlooked. It surpasses goal setting, it surpasses time management, it surpasses communication skills, it surpasses any of that stuff. And this is fundamentally your self-concept. It's what do you believe about yourself? And here's the thing, is that most people's self-concept is defined by other people's opinions. It's defined by what do their customers think of them, what does their boss think of them, what does their staff think of them. And that feedback is, it's good, and I'd say that it's important to a degree, but what's much more important is the feedback that you have about yourself, and here's why, is that the whole world will always be delayed in catching up with your authentic self. If you're growing and if you're changing, the person that you are tomorrow morning, the person that you are today is going to be different from the one yesterday, last week, or last year. And you can't expect everyone else's opinions to be caught up with your internal transformation. So as you're becoming more patient, as you're becoming more focused, as you're becoming more of all of the things that are authentic and true and real for you, it's gonna take the rest of the world a little bit of time to catch up. You're gonna to need to be and hold that space for a while before people will give you the recognition and the before they'll see you for who you really are. Especially when you're growing and shifting and really coming into yourself, it's important to have total clarity about who that is, who that is meaning who you are, and then not let the world's rudder or public opinion's rudder shift or change that. Had an amazing weekend with Byron Katie this weekend. And uh, she was in Austin, Texas. I flew down to see her. And she said something that's so profound, it's so simple. She said, without your opinion of me, who am I? And I would love for you to ponder that. Without everyone else's opinion of you in the world, whether it's your spouse or your best friends or your clients, coworkers, whoever it may be, who are you? Sit with that this week and the clearer that you are about that, the less likely it is that you're gonna stray from who you are to match someone else's opinion of what they think you should be. When you can do that, you live authentically and your real power comes out. That allows you the clarity to chase after your goals. It allows you the clarity to know what's important in your week, to manage your time better, to communicate clearly, to do all of the things that are important for you. I love this topic. If you have questions about it, let me know. And if you have any questions, of course, fire them back off. Have a fabulous week.